other than that, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. With music and lyrics by Meredith Wilson, who is a man. And also directed by Gavin Spencer, also a man. Yes. And orchestral direction by Lou Polcari. Without further ado, we, we are, are proud, proud to present, present The Music Man! man. Territory. Shh, 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 shh. 
why it's the Model T for me, the trouble me, the people want to go, want to get, want to get, want to get up and go, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 22, 23 miles to the county seat, yes sir, yes sir, who's going to patronize a little bitty 2 by 4 kind of store anymore, what do you talk, what do you talk, what do you get, at the Model T at all, take gander at the store, at the Modern store, at the present day store, at the present day Modern departmentalized grocery store, what do you talk, what do you talk, what do you talk, what do you talk, what do you talk? What do you get it? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you get it? You can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, you can bicker, you can talk, 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 bicker, 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 you can talk all you want, but it's different than it was. No, it ain't, no, it ain't, but you gotta know the territory. Why, it's the you need a biscuit made of trouble. You need a, you need a put the crackers in the package. The you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package made the cracker barrel obsolete, 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 obsolete. Cracker barrel went out the window with the mail pouch cuffed above charm by the stove. Changed the approach of a traveling salesman, made it pretty hard. No, it didn't, no, it didn't, but you gotta know the territory. Gone, gone. Gone with the hogshead cask and demijohn. Gone with the sugar barrel, pickle barrel, milk pen. Gone with the tub and the pail and the tears. Ever met a fella by the name of Hill? Hill? Hill! 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 Hill? Hill. No! Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute! Never heard of any salesman, Hill. Now he doesn't know the territory. Doesn't know the territory? What's the fella's line? Never worries about his line. Never worry about his line. Or the crackle barrel being obsolete. Or the you need a biscuit in an airtight sanitary package or the model T4. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute! Never worries about his line. Never worries about his line? Or a doggone thing. He's just a bang beat, bell ringing, big hall, great gong, decker nothing, rip for ever touch a bullseye salesman. That's Professor Harold Hill, Harold Hill. Tell us what's his line, what's his line? Oh, he's fake and he doesn't know the territory. Look, what do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? What do you talk? He's a music man. He's a what? He's a what? He's a music man. And he sells clarinets to the kids in the town with the big trombones and the rat a tat trunks and the big brass bass, big brass bass. And the piccolo, the piccolo, uniforms too, with a shiny gold braid on the coat, and a big red stripe on the Well, I don't know much about bands, but I do know you can't make a living song. Big drum boats? No, sir. Mandolin picks, perhaps, and here and there, Jews harp? No, the fella sells bands, boys' bands. I don't know how he does it. But he lives like a king, and he dallies and he gathers, and he plucks and he shines, and when the man dances, certainly, boys, what else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the man dances, certainly, boys. What else? The piper pays him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he doesn't know the territory. <laughs> Population 2212 cigarettes illegal in this state. Board! Now, if you're all through, <laughs> I'll tell you about Professor Harold Hill. You really know Harold Hill? Never seen him in my life. But I can tell you this much he's given every single one of us a black eye. Once he's worked the town over, the next salesman to come through automatically gets tied and feathered and rode out of city limits on the rail. Oh, you think that's funny? Well, wait till it happens to you. The hair never grows back. <laughs> but why should he get brought out of town on a rail? Because in order to sell them band instruments, and uniforms, and instruction books, he's got to guarantee to teach them kids to play. Well? And to form a band with himself as the leader. What's wrong with that? He don't know one note from another. That's what's wrong with that. And he can't tell a pipe organ from bass drums. Oh yeah, I'll catch him that two-bit swindling and thimble rigger and squeal on him so loud. Oh wow, you're mad, Charlie. Sure likes to be around you when you catch up with that fella. Well, won't be in this trip. Not in Iowa. Even the great Professor Harold Hill would try to sell them neck bowed Hawkeyes out there. Boards! All the boards! Gentlemen, you intrigue me. I think I'll have to give Iowa a try. Don't believe I caught your name. Don't believe I dropped it.
great horse sense, and a cool head, and a keen eye. Whichever chick can try to give a nine plant leave to yourself from a three rail billiard shot. Well, just as I say, takes judgment, brains and maturity to score in a ball collide game, and I say that any boob can take and shove a ball into that pocket, and I call that sloth the first big step on the road to the depths of day or day, say first. Medicinal wine from a teaspoon, and then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And listening to some big out of Jasper here to tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trot race, no, but a race where they sit down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch. Make your blood boil, I should say. Now, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets in the table. Pockets that mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum, with a capital B and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. And all week long, your inner city youth will be frittering away. Say, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away, there are noontime, suppertime, short time, too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting the dandelions for order the screen door patch with a beef steak pounded. Never mind pumping any water to your parents are caught with a cistern empty on a Saturday night, and that's trouble. Oh, she got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbockers, your tail young ones. You get in the pool hall, wonder after school, you got trouble. Folks right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. Now I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on while they're loafing around that hall? They be trying out Eva, trying out QS, trying out Taylor Maids like cigarette beans, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up the telltale breath with sense and one fine night. They leave the pool hall, heading for the dance of the armory, liberty men and scarlet women, and ragtime. Shame this music that'll grab your son, your daughter, the arms of the jungle, animal instinct, mass stereo. Friends, the idle brain is the devil's playground. Trouble! Oh, we got trouble. 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 Oh, we does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib. Is he starting to memorize jokes out of Captain Willie's whiz bag? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like, like swell. Ha, and so's your old man. Well, it's so, my friends. We got trouble! Oh, we got trouble! Right here in the city! Right here in the city! The capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool! That stands for pool! We surely got trouble! We surely got trouble! Right here in the city! Right here! Right here. Remember the Maine, the Plymouth Rock, and the Golden Rule! My children's children got trouble! Oh, we got trouble! We got terrible, terrible trouble! That game with the 15 colored balls and the devil's tool! We got trouble, trouble, trouble! We got trouble! We got trouble! We got big, big trouble! With a T! With a T!
daughter. Yes, Mama. Keep on me, Merlis. I'll be there in a minute. Good 
recognize my someone. You can put the right name in when the right someone comes along. All right. It's better than nothing. Yes, it is. Now you can play your crosshand piece. Now I may play my crosshand piece. Mm -hmm. um.
Oh, it seems the members of the school board will not be presenting a patriotic tableau. Some disagreement about costumes? I suppose. Instead, the Wauton Yee girls of the local wigwam of Hiawatha will be presenting a spectacle. My wife. <laughs> In which my wife? You Laylee McKechnie Shin will take a leading part. Having its big fat say, 
There were 50 loaded cannon in the battery. Thundering, thundering louder than before. Clarinets of every size and trumpeter suit improvisable, octave higher than the star. Thank you, Professor. 
Got to make an example of him. Ringleader, you know. Whatever he does, the gang does. Julie, Clyde, let me go! You wild kid, you have hanging around my oldest girl. His father's one of them day laborers up in town, you wild kid. Tagging down Main Street after my oldest girl last Sunday. I wasn't at tagging. <laughs> don't, don't you counterdict me. We is just walking together. Chili, Clyde. You want your phraseology? I know what you was doing, my little Gracie Senior. Now, you stay away from my oldest girl and you'll hear from me till who late the rains. Hill, I'll talk to you Monday morning about that man thing over at City Hall. Ten o'clock, sharp. Men, I want his credentials. Now, Constable, I'll be responsible for the boy. You don't know this kid. He's tough. He's got his gang waiting outside. Oh, I'll be careful. <laughs> Tommy, I'd like to talk to you about the band. Oh, uh, gee, Professor, that's for the little kids. Oh, no, I don't want to talk to you about being in the band. You're mechanically minded, aren't you? Did you ever do anything with perpetual motion? I nearly had it a couple times. You did? Oh, well, you're my man. Do you realize no one has ever invented a music stand for a marching piccolo player? There's no place to hang the music. Sheely, Clyde, where do I get some wire from? Look in your cellar. That's where people normally keep wire. <laughs> oh, oh, Tommy! Now, Constable, I'll show you how to break up a gang. Oh, young lady, oh, miss, what is your name? Zimita, I didn't have any idea you were talking to me. God! Tommy, this is Anita. Escort the young lady home. Only a second, I'm not going home. I have to go to the library, ye gods! Well, then escort the young lady to the library. By way of the candy kitchen. Yes, sir. Do I have to? Oh, you have to. <laughs> ye gods! Professor, you're a pretty bright young fella, but you made a couple of mistakes. Oh, Meryl's billiard parlor and that new pool table. What was my other mistake? That's Anita. She's the mayor's oldest girl. Oh. <laughs> I know, everyone's in my way. Excuse me, Professor, but we'd like to see your credentials. We're the school board. Academic certificates. No, nothing of the kind. We need letters and papers. Make him put up a bond. What am I hearing? You, sir. Say ice cream. Ice cream, but I don't see you. No, no, no. Just talk then. Down here, ice cream. Talk slow, ice cream. You see, singing is only sustained talking. Now you, now you, now you, sir. <laughs> Ladies, from now on, you'll never see one of those men without the other three. <laughs>
Professor Almont, at what college did they give a de de degree for annoying women on the street like a Saturday night rowdy at a public dance hall? Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm a conservatory man myself. Gary, Indiana, gold medal class of Op 5. Even should that happen to be true, does that give you the right to follow me around wherever I go? And another thing, Mr. Hill, I'm not as easily mesmerized or hoodwinked as some people in this town, and I think it only fair to warn you that I have a shelf full of reference books in the library which may very well be some interesting information about you. Hey, Greg! Hey, Marcellus, and don't call me Greg. So, how'd you make out with the music teacher? Scrumptious. <laughs> Ate out my hand and then I tipped my hat. She did. Boy, you cut a swath tonight. For a minute even, I thought you knew something about leading a band. <laughs> like, like you used to imitate that band concert fellow back in Joplin. <laughs> yeah. I'm in rare form these days, son. Just keep your eye on me for the next four weeks. <coughs> four weeks? It only used to take ten days for the instruments to arrive. Oh, it still does. But it takes four weeks for the uniforms. Uniforms? Oh, no, Greg. You haven't added uniforms. Uniforms and instruction books. Instruction books? But you don't know anything about leading a band. Oh, well, not for any four weeks. Mars. You don't know one note from another. Oh, I had this revolutionary new idea called the fake system. But you don't bother with notes. <laughs> but in four weeks, people are going to want to hear the music. You'll have to lead a band. Oh, when the uniforms arrive, they forget everything else. <laughs> at least long enough for me to collect and leave. <laughs> this is a refined operation, son. And I've got a time right down to the last wave of the brakeman's hand on the last train out of town. Now, Mr. Washburn, if you'll excuse me. Oh, so, gonna wind yourself up a little canoe, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Say, I can fix you up with Ethel's sister, Jennifer. Lovely girl. Teaches Sunday school. Oh, no. No bright eyed, wholesome, innocent Sunday school teacher for me. That kind of girl spins webs in a spider egg. Listen, boy. A girl who trades on all that purity merely wants to trade my independence for her security. The only affirmative she will file refers to marching down the aisle, no golden, glorious, gleaming, pristine goddess. No, sir, for no Diana do I play fun. I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss. How can ignorance be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz. For the lady who knows what time it is, I cheer and I rave. For the virtue are too late to save The sadder but wiser girl for me No bright-eyed, blushing, breathless baby doll, baby No, sir, that kind of child ties knots No sailor ever knew I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No do young miss who keeps resisting all the time she keeps insisting. No bright-eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, for she's the fisherman and I'm the fish you see. Plop! I cringe, I shy. When the last with a delicate air goes by, I smile, I grin. When the last with a touch of sin walks in, I hope and I pray for Hester to win just one more A. The sadder but wiser girl's the girl for me. The sadder but wiser girl for me. Mrs. 
gin. But you see, part of my plans include a ladies' auxiliary for the classic dance. Oh, do that again, Mrs. Shin. Your foot the way you raised it just now. Well, I have a bunny in there that bothers me. <laughs> oh, what grace. Oh, what natural flow of rhythm. What expression of line and, and movement. Oh, Mr. Oh, you Hill. must accept the chairmanship for the ladies' auxiliary for the classic dance. Mustn't she, ladies? Mustn't she? <laughs> Every move you make, Mrs. Shin, bespeaks Del Sart. Or will you accept, will you? Say yes, Mrs. Shin. Rayleigh McKechnie Shinta. Oh, well, that is dancing. Then you accept. Yes, indeed, and I would like And the young lady who plays the piano, uh, Marion Prue, I believe. <gasps> well, after all, she is the librarian. Pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 talk a lot, pick a little more, pick a little, talk a little, pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a little, talk a little, cheek, 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 pick a Miser Madison, Madison Hospital, Madison Gymnasium, Madison Picnic Park. That Miser Madison. Exactly. Who do you think he was, anyway? Well, I should say, the show-off. Gave the town the library, too, didn't he? Well, that's just it. He gave the town the library building. But he left all the books to her. She was even going and coming from his place. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes, that woman made brave enough to do with a guilt edge guarantee. She had a building delivered in her eye, and still you were for the counterfeit free. Melt her down, and you'll reveal a lump of lead as cold as steel here. For the middle part should be. He left River City, the library building, but he left all the books to her. Chaucer! Of course, fellas. I have exactly what you need back from my hotel. Just come with me. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Catch your ear. 
I love you madly, madly, mad on my very Mary in heaven help us if the library caught on fire and the volunteer hose brigade men had to whisper the news to Mary. Mad on my What can I say, my dear, to make it clear? I need you madly, badly, mad on my very Marion, if I stumble, and I bustle my what should we call it, I can lie on the floor unnoticed, till my body had turned to carrion. Mad on my brain. Now in the moonlight, a man could sing it.
to tell you, dear. I need you badly, badly, man of my Marion. Marion, it's a long lost cause. I can never win. The uncivilized world accepts as unforgivable sin. Any talking out loud with any librarian, such as Marion. The Ladies' Dance Committee meets Tuesday nights. Madam Librarian Marshmallow.
look like? Gary, Indiana. I knew it! Gary! Where did you say? Gary, Indiana. In fact, Gary Conservatory was my alma mater. Oh, was she now? <laughs> oh, hello, Miss Peru. Oh, Peru, I thought the name sounded familiar. I've tried to see you since the other you day. You want to put Winthrop in the band? We're not interested, Mama. But Marion, the boy might have his father's musical gift. He does have my car, you know. Oh, your husband musical. Well, I'd love to have a talk with him. I'm sure that we can... Do you burst in on everyone's home like this, prying into personal affairs? We're not interested. Marion! Oh, that's one for and one against. Why not let the boy's father decide? The boy's father is dead. Anything else? Oh, I, I am sorry. But that's all the more reason why your brother should have- My brother is a ten-year-old problem child who can't understand why his father was taken away. Would you care to explain it to him? He's been brooding about it for two years. As to your musical tricks, why don't you go into business with some nice carnival man who sells gold-painted watches and glass diamond rings? Musical tricks? Why, Miss Peru, You know, I get the feeling she likes the idea. Oh, a little cautious, perhaps, but I admire that in a woman. Just keep me alive, and I'll be back later in the week. What's all, Mr. Tucker? I've asked the boys for I make those clothes myself. Um, sleeve 21, waist 18, crouch 14. Fine, fine. That's all the information that I need. Now, I must get back to the hotel. I do hope you'll see us married, Professor. She's not oh, really... Oh, no, don't worry about a thing. I'm sure that at heart, she's as lovely as yourself. Good day, Winter Peru. Has he gone? He has, and I hope not forever. Darling, don't you ever think of your future? Gary Indiana, conservation class of on five. Now, darling. Now, Mama, surely a girl's future doesn't depend on encouraging every fast-talking, self-centered, woman-chasing traveling man who comes to town. And the fact that he claims his commodity is music does not, in this particular case, impress me. All right, darling, all right. But it's a well-known principle that if you keep the flint in one drawer and the steel in another, you'll never light much of a fire. <laughs> Winthrop! Winthrop, I know you're there. Please take this to Miss Grubb at the library and ask her to give you the book I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. A large brown volume with black corners. You I have to. You won't have to say anything. I've written it all down. Now, what are you up to? Why do you need library books at this hour of the night? I have a feeling the Indiana State Journal will help me poke some large holes in the professor's claims. Well, I give up. At your age, if you don't mind my asking, what kind of white knight do you expect to come riding along? But I'm not waiting for Luther Griner, who backs me into the ancient history shop every time he comes into the library. She does. Or Ed Gamage in that buggy of his, with a removable back seat. <laughs> but I'm not waiting for a man in shining red armor either. Oh, this is 
bridge. You see? Now ain't that just what I said? Last time the lumber yard and now the footbridge. And where will you meet me after that? The black hole of Calcutta, ye gods! I only wanted to show you my invention. What invention? My music holder for a marching piccolo player, see? It still has a couple of minor flaws. When you keep it tight enough to hold the music steady, you cut off the circulation and you can't look at your fingers. <laughs> Meanwhile, you could go blind. Tommy, it's Papa! Now, is that the first thing I said or not? Yes, Jules. Yes, the first thing I said or I'll eat me with a horse. Get that spell, Viner's credentials I said, morning of July 4th, 1912. And now look, my wife is dead singing any and all hours of the day instead of in the hall. Oh, but you! The school board singing up the street and down alley instead of tending to city matters. My oldest girl is booming around with some wild kid. And my business has fallen so far off I can't find the thousand sheep. Mr. Mary, if I found something very interesting in this book about Professor Hill's alma mater. His who? His university. Ah, yes. I know all about that. In fact, it's the only thing I've been able to get out of it. Gary Conservatory, class of Art 5. Well, if you just take time to read a little bit about the conservatory, I don't think you'll have to look much further. It's on Papa! The Wells Fargo wagon is just coming up from the depot! A <laughs> likely story. If it's our day, nonsense. The Wells Fargo wagon? It could be the band instruments! <laughs> the band instruments? Oh, the Wells Fargo wagon! Probably don't see the praise that it be for me. Oh, the wells are the wagon is up. Probably down the street, I wish I wish I knew what it could be. I got a box of maple sugar on my birthday. In March, I got a gray back in heart. And I picked up the free friends with your back. Montgomery Woods and the Elbato Band of Crosscut Song. Oh, the wells are the wagon is up. Probably down the street, I wish I wish I knew what it could be.
you in front of your back, but do what? Oh, never mind. Zanita scared you, but I'm not. I should think you'd hate to have your own daughter scared of you. Geely, Clyde. I'm going to warn you once more. If I ever catch you touching my daughter, I'll by God horse whip you till elbows have it again. Oh, no, Jules. Not one poop out of you, madam. <laughs> um, I think he means pick. <laughs> yes! And now get out of this public building. I got as much right in this public building as anybody. Right? How do you get any right around here? Aiding and abetting the swindling activities of that, that spellbinding simple salesman? Do you know what I see written all over you? Reform school! Now get out! Get out, you wild kid! Papa, please! If capitalists like you have been blood in the marketplace, he does! You want your phraseology, young woman? Go home! You lady, you tend to your dance. My, my dance. I'll handle Zanita. Taken up with wild kids from the wrong side of town. Mr. Mayor, if I could just make you understand. Well, you can't. And by the way, thanks for nothing. I've read that book you gave me from cover to cover for a week now, and I haven't found a thing. Now, Mr. Mayor, if you please. I'll settle your cash as soon as I get these premises off my oldest girl. All right, but in the meantime, I want you to know that I'm vouching for Tommy Julius. That kid's got the confidence of every man in town. You'll be waiting in line to shake his hand by the time our band plays its first concert. But by the time your band plays its first concert, the individual members are not more gathering weed chairs on account of the broken legs they'll get from tripping over their beards. I'll tell you something, my fine young feather. My fine young, my fine young, never mind. Oliver, J.C., Ewart, Owens. I want that man's credential that I want him tonight. And don't let him out of your sight. He's slipperier than a Mississippi sturgeon. Do you mean you want us to get his credentials? Get his papers or get him in jail. I couldn't make myself any clearer if I was a butt hook in the well water. <laughs> Professor Hill, I think Mayor Shin behaved abominably, and I think it was wonderful of you to come to Tommy's defense. Oh, that was that was nothing. Yes, it was. Oh no, a man can't dodge the issue every time a little personal risk is involved. What does the poet say? Coward dies a thousand deaths. Brave man, only 500. <laughs> Unfortunately, the mayor was already fairly angry with me on account of his billiard parlor. Now, I suppose that a musical recommendation from a musical authority such as yourself would help. But I couldn't ask him to do anything. Why, like Professor that. Hill? If <laughs> you would. I'd be glad to. I just wish I were a little more informed. I've been wanting to talk to you about Winthrop's cornet. Ah, his cornet. Oh, mother of pearl keys. Yes, I'm but, sure it's fine, but he never touches it. Yes, the first few weeks or so, he made a few experimental uh, blacks, I guess you say. Yes. And he sings the minuet in Trinidad almost constantly. But he never touches the cornet. Now, Miss Mary, the think system is a revolutionary new idea, I'll admit. But so was Galileo's conception of the heavens. Columbus's conception of the egg, <laughs> globe, Bach's conception of a well-tempered clavichord. Hmm? Now I cannot discuss these things in public, but if I would be allowed to call, when may I call? Any night this week.
my papers and credentials, but you always seem to get off the topic somehow. <laughs> well, I have exactly what you need back at my hotel. It'll just be a moment. Right, I'll have to come with you there. Yes, let's just see if I um, have my key. Well, what's this? Why, it's a testimonial from Madame Marini, the only female bassoonist ever to appear on the Red Path circuit. Of course, most people know her by her stage name, Lyra Rose Quackenbush. Can I see that? Oh, you'd never forget the name, Lyra Rose. Just like the old song. Lyra Rose, I'm home again, Rose. To get the sun back in the sky. Lyra Rose, I'm home again, Rose. About a thousand kisses shy. Ding dong ding. I can hear the chapel bell chime. Ding dong ding. At the least suggestion, I'm off the question. Light a rose, I'm home again, folks, without a sweetheart to my name. Light a rose.
just change for the sociable. This time later. <laughs> she is from around here? This shin home is on East Elm. This is West Elm. Ah, Clavini! Ah, see of the uh, piano teacher here in town. Uh, you know about this fellow Keel forming a boys band? Yes. <laughs> Don't that worry you no more. I got the goods on him and Spanks. Swinging them too big. <clears throat> That's why I got to go see the shins. Yeah, number eight only makes a 15 minute watch stop. Wish it was 20. Well, I could concentrate five minutes on you, girly girl. Who are you? Name's Charlie Cat. And Bill Salesman. But right now I'm about to take the good name and travel returning from that swindler. Mr. Cowell, you're making a big mistake. Mistake my own lady's course cover. That man's been the raspberry seed in my wisdom tooth just long enough. He spoiled the noise for me, and he's not gonna spoil our one. Say, what kind of music teacher are you anyhow? You didn't see through him? He's no more professor than I know all about that. Band leaders are always called professor. It's a harmless deception. He's a fine director and his goal Wait a minute. Fine director? Have you heard one note of music from that band? Well, no, but... But nothing, girly girl. He's never formed a band in his life, and he never will. If you'll just listen to me for a moment... I'd like to. I'd like to do more than that. If I had the time, I'm sure I've got the, uh, inclination. But right now, I've got to drop this dynamite off to somebody on the way to the depot. Bye, girl, girl. See you next time through. You'll never make that train in the depot. You'll have to catch it at the crossing. No, sir. i got to do work. And I can see you ain't the one to leave a whip. Just a minute. Mr. Cowell. <laughs> You don't know me yet. Is that an invitation? Uh, no, I mean, I don't know you. And yes, I need more time anyway. I mean, as well as I'd like to. No trouble there, girly girl. I never met a man who sells anvils before. That's something, well, quite different. Takes a real salesman. I can tell you that. Angels have a limited appeal. <laughs> what am I doing? I miss my train, I'll lose my job. I gotta leave word about that fellow here. Leave word with me! Not on your tin time. How do I know you deliver these letters? Try me. Why, you double dealing little? Who do you think you're protecting? That man's got a girl in every county in Illinois, and he's taken it away from every one of them. That's 102 counties. Not to mention these little piano teachers he cozies up to keep their mouths shut. Neither of you seem the last to me, girly girl. Oh, now, Miss Marion, 
I'm not suggesting that your invitation to call for anything but academic enlightenment. The thing system? I've been by your house and trying to explain it a few times, but there always seem to be people around. Mostly ladies, I thought. Yes, Mrs. Squires and several of the ladies. Good. Wouldn't want anyone beating my tie. No man. Well, evidently it's not a convenient evening. I'll see you at the social pool later. Professor Hill, is it true that you had a hundred? What yes. I was trying to say is, is it really true you de developed a think system? Um, a, th a think system? <laughs> oh yes, it's really quite simple. Why as simple as whistling. Nobody had to show you how to use your lips for whistling. You merely think the tube to have it come out clearly here. Just try it yourself before you ask any questions. I take your word. Could we sit down? Are all music teachers as dense as I am? All music teachers? I dare say you've met dozens, even a hundred. Well, I... Have they all been as fascinated as I have with the Fink system? Some more, some less. One young lady thought of the same system before I got to her town. She showed me a few refinements. Please don't let me keep you, Professor Hill. I'm sure you have many more important things to do than explain the Fink system to me. Can't think of one. And I must be very dull company for a man of your experience. Oh, now say, where did you get an idea like that? When he hears rumors of traveling salesmen. Oh, uh, now, Miss Mary, you must not believe everything that you hear. After all, one even hears rumors about librarians. I suppose you're referring to Uncle Matty. Uncle Matty? Mr. Madison, my father's best friend. No matter what they say, he left me with, a sh with an assured job, so Mother and Winthrop and I could have some security. Surely you don't believe- Oh, no, 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 but that's just what I'm saying. Now why do you suppose people start those rumors? Narrow-mindedness and jealousy. Jealousy mostly, I guess. Exactly. And jealousy mostly starts rumors about traveling salesmen. <laughs> what have you heard? Oh. Nothing about you personally, just generally. What have you heard generally? Just that, but of course it stands to reason that, that jealousy and disappointment can, I mean, take you for instance, your attentions to customers and, well, teachers, I mean, they might easily be misinterpreted, mightn't they? I mean, now honestly, mightn't they? Why? And so they say that if someone were jealous or, well, they could, they could be downright lies, couldn't they? What could? Rumors and things. Why, of course. It just proves you can't believe everything you hear, doesn't it? I mean, if you just discuss things. Ah, oh, Miss Marion, I would be delighted to discuss anything in the world with you. But couldn't we do it sitting down? <laughs> you do sit. Your knees bend them all. We could sit on the porch steps. We could also sit on a large hollow log over at the footbridge. I couldn't think of it. I've never been to the footbridge with a man in my life. Just to talk. I've got to dress for the social. Then meet me there in 15 minutes. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I can't. Some other time. Maybe tomorrow. Ah, my dear little librarian, pile up enough tomorrows and you'll find you've collected nothing but a bunch of empty yesterdays. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd like to make today worth remembering. So would I. The footbridge. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes.
uniforms have arrived. The kids are in them already. Those people are gonna be screaming for music if those kids show up at the sociable. Yeah. Oh, uh, here is most of the dome. I got Tommy to collect it. Try to hold the kids together, at least. Pretend to hold some music practice down in the lumberyard. Haha, <laughs> good job, Mars. Get the ring. Got it. Oh, well, what time does the freight go? 9.40 from the junction. Well, it's not even 8.30 yet. Look, you want to turtle whirl around here and get yourself caught in a bunny trap? You Mars. go ahead. Mars, don't worry. I'll meet you back at the hotel in plenty of time. <laughs> Miss Marion, you're late. But you said 15 minutes. Oh, no, I meant about, well, about 26 years late. Took you all this time to get to the footbridge with the fellow. If you want to know the truth, it was almost longer. Oh. Halfway here, I nearly turned back. I suppose I'm not the first to find it easier to think clearly when not under the spell of your salesmanship. Oh, now, Miss Mary, surely you don't think I've been trying to sell you anything. No, you've given me something. That's why I decided to come. I don't recall giving you anything. And yes, you have something beautiful. That's why I came. And I'm glad. Please don't be afraid I expect too much from you. One can't expect a traveling salesman to stay put. I know there have been many points of call, and there will be many more, but that's no reason for me not to be grateful for what you will have left behind for me. Mary, I... There were bells on the hill, but I never Can't. 
tell her from a cat boat in a hurricane? Oh, now you listen here, Buster Brown. I came up my ranks on this skirmish, and I am not leaving without my commission. Well, you can't get anywhere up here on the footbridge. There's a place over by the soap school at Madison Park. Makes this place look like the old lady's home. Now beat it! Never a peaceful moment in the music business. Now, where were we? You are about to tell me what I don't know about you? Yeah. We don't have to go into that now. <laughs> Do we? No, Harry. Not now, or ever for that matter. The librarian hasn't felt much like doing research lately. But she did plenty when you first came. Oh? About what? About Professor Harold Hill, Gary Conservatory of Music, Gold Medal Class of Alt Five. Um. Harold. There wasn't any Gary Conservatory in Alt Five. Why? There's certain. The town wasn't even built until Alt Six. <laughs> See you at the social. <laughs> You knew all the time. Since July 7th, three days after you came, I tore this at the Indiana Journal. It was originally intended to use against you, but now I give it to you with all of my heart. But, but if you knew, why didn't On the 110 cornets played the air, and I modestly took my place as the one and only bass, and I oombahed up and down the square. <laughs> With the 110 cornets right behind. There were horns of every shape. Sweet dreams be yours, dear, if dreams there be. Well, the hundred and ten cornets played the I wish I may, and I wish I might. By someone good night. Greg! Greg! Greg, this guy's crazy! He's been going all over town, spilling everything! I'll say I'm crazy! Missed my train, probably lost my job! But I got you now, Harold, and you'll pay! You be in the coon right now before for that piano teacher. I'll tell her all about you. What does she do? Then it gags me around till I can't get the shin. Little dried up man from Doxy, round your biscuit. Oh. Get out of here or I'll kill you, you good you bully. You big blow off. I'll stay in this town so you keep yours up, down, through, and sideways. You never even knew the territory. <laughs> Same thing. He's had his hand in your wallet, mister. 
And yours, madam. And yours, the lady, ever since the first moment he came to this town. There isn't any band. There never was any band. And there never will be any band. And if you don't run this man out, like the mad dog he is, there will be any Harold Hill either. Now will you all believe me? Well, what are we waiting for? I want my money back. Money back? I want to hide. After him! And when you find him, bring him to the schoolhouse. Everybody, after him!
to prevent this dire happening from happening. <laughs> Four score. What have you done to get our money back? Oh, he's slippery, I told you. I haven't seen any uniform either. Or my boy. But just after supper. He's a kidnapper. Oh, oh, wait here. Four score and seven. <laughs> Virtue has triumphed. The sword of retribution has cut down Professor Harold Hill. <laughs> and if there are those, as I have heard, who are melting tar and collecting feathers, I will not say them nay. Well, I should think there ought to be some of you who could forget our everlasting Iowa stubborn, chip on the shoulder arrogance long enough to remember River City before Harold Hill arrived. Do you remember? Well, do you? Surely some of you ought to be grateful to him for what he has brought to River City. And if so, I should think you would want to admit it. <laughs> You're wasting a great deal of your time here. If there is anyone here who thinks that this man Hill should not be tarred and feathered, let him stand up. Thank you. 